So whether it's for a quick and delicious lunch or to warm you up on a chilly day, I love a hearty soup. And there's few I'm a bigger fan of than this mushroom and barley one made super simple in our six quart elite slow cooker. My favorite thing about it is always gonna be that I can brown and cook right in the pot. And it's perfect for this recipe because we're gonna be thickening our soup with something called a roux. A roux is basically just some fat and some flour, in this case, some butter and some flour, which are gonna melt down, combine together. So I've got my slow cooker on the brown setting and I'm gonna add in all of my butter and an equal amount of flour. Basically, we've got our butter melted down in here with our flour and I've mixed it around to make a paste. We're just gonna cook this until it gets a little deeper in color, starts to smell a little nutty, little aromatic, kind of like a light tan, light brown color. And that's gonna give us a lot of richness and depth of the flavor to the soup, along with it thickening the whole thing up. Just keep a close eye on it and every 30 seconds or so, give it a little stir. Now, while that finishes cooking down a little bit, I'm just gonna show you how to cut up some of our mushrooms. The shiitakes, the stems can be a little tough sometimes. So I always like to take these and trim off just a little bit of that dry end. And then we're gonna cut them in half so we have large pieces like this. They'll shrink down quite a bit in the soup. With the carinis though, our little button mushrooms, the sizes can vary a lot. So with these ones, we're gonna be cutting the ends off just like we do with the shiitakes. But then depending on how big or small they are, you might either wanna half them or for some of the bigger ones, quarter them just to get them all about the same size. Once you've taken the time to get your roux to this exact color, we're gonna add in all the rest of the ingredients. So we're gonna start off with our vegetables. So we're adding in our celery, our onions, our carrots, a little bit of garlic. So I'm just gonna take a second and stir all the vegetables through the roux. We're trying to make sure we don't have lumps of the flour that's in the roux all through the soup when we put the stock in. So having it coated all over the vegetables will avoid that for us. I'm using some chicken stock today. You could also use vegetable stock. We're gonna stir it combined. Really take your time with this and make sure you don't see any little lumps of flour in there. So we're gonna add in all of our mushrooms, a little pinch of dried thyme, and then our flaked barley. So we're gonna stir it to combine, put the cover on, and we're gonna set the slow cooker for high slow cook mode and let this simmer away for three to four hours, but really until the mushrooms are cooked all the way through, barley is plumped up and is softened nicely, and we have a beautiful soup consistency. All right, let's check on our soup, see how it's looking after about three hours. What you're looking for here is not only for everything to be cooked through, for the barley to open up a little bit, for the mushrooms to be fully softened, but it's also the overall consistency of the broth and of the soup. If you need to add a little bit more stock into it, feel free, go ahead, there's nothing wrong with that, until we get about this consistency. Make sure you get an even amount of all of that barley and the mushrooms and the vegetables. I'm gonna thinly slice some scallions, and to me, this is the perfect soup for any cold weather, or even just for a really filling, hearty, delicious lunch. If you love classic comfort food as much as I do, head on over to our website and check out our blog, The Cook's Journal. Me and the entire team here in the Green Pan Kitchen have put together an amazing collection of recipes I know you're gonna love to cook any night of the week.